Ooh. Hey, here he is. Hi, mate. Hey. Hello, can, you hear, can you hear me? Yeah, Jack, loud and clear, yeah. Good. Um, do you know what this is about? Or... Oh, no, I think Regis wants to have a word, to be honest. I mean, um, I'm guessing you obviously got the uh, email before about the lockdown, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? It's mental. On my second day as well. Yeah, yeah. How are you? You uh, you all settled into new flat and stuff. Yeah, all good, all good. Nice. Uh, what are you doing? House share or what is it? Yeah, just the two of us, just with the living landlord. Oh, uh, sweet. It seems fine. Good. Oh, here she is. Hi, Jack. Hi, 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 hi Jake. Uh, is Don Don here? No. Ah, right. Okay. As per usual. All right. Well, let's just give it two minutes and then if he's not here, we'll get started without him. So, uh, Jack, how's, uh, how's everything going? You, you all right with the big move? All right. Yeah, fine. I mean, I'm sort of a withdrawn guy anyway. So all this self-isolation stuff is, it's like I've been practicing for years. S sorry. Sorry. I couldn't hear you then. What, what was that? Come a bit closer to your mic. Oh no, it was it was nothing. Don't worry about it at all. Yeah, sorry, mate. We uh, we actually just lost you there. I think I don't know. You've maybe got a dodgy connection or something like that. Oh, I was just saying that you know, all this self isolation stuff is. Hello, ladies. Sorry, I'm not uh, not late, am I? Yes, yes, you are actually, as per usual. And you've actually just interrupted Jack. Go on, say it again. Oh no, honestly, it's it's absolutely fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Jack, you, well, I think we lost you again for a second. What were you saying? Genuinely nothing. Oh, come on. What was it? We've, we've, you've, you've started now, so. I, I was just saying that, you know, uh, all this self isolation stuff, it's not too difficult for me because it's like I've been practicing for years. Have you? No. I was just. Right. Uh, okay. Um, so, Don. I don't know, have you met Jack? He was, I get this, so he was in the office in London for one day, right? And then uh, obviously all this happened and he's literally only just arrived from Chester, poor bloke. Ah, oh, Manchester, eh? Oh, brilliant. Ever find yourself knocking around Canal Street? A brilliant, brilliant part of the world. No, sorry, Chester, I'm from yeah. Chester. Yeah, Manchester. Yeah, there's a club there called Mammies, actually, where they do a shot of rum and a slice of cake for a fiver. I used to sit there for six, seven hours. Yeah, full six or seven sometimes alone quite alone um just with a shot of captain morgan sometimes a whole bottle six inches shy of a full gatto uh and only 40 quid worse off give or take you have a funny stuff down canal street there john down uh, it's jack sorry and no i'm from chester oh. it's on the border with sorry no actually we don't we don't actually have time for this. It, we've got quite a lot to get through. Um, listen, obviously, by now, you've all heard the news that the government has demanded that everybody stay at home uh, because a few people have got a very scary bad cold. Uh, well, I think it's a bit more than a... Yeah, unfortunately, while everyone's cowering behind their curtains because someone's Auntie Susan's got a bad case of the sniffles, nobody's going to go around uh, wanting to use an app which connects them with their nearest gardeners. But that's what our app does that is exactly what our app does well done new boy gold star for you bravo Where does that leave us then Ray? i'll get to that in a minute jake uh, first things first i have been instructed by weeds hr team to implement a new initiative for the sake of everybody's um mental health so it's a video diary um which i need each of you to complete every day record it on your webcam send it over to me Basically, if anybody thinks that they're, you know, going to have a whoopsie or going to whoopsie themselves or slit their whoopsies with a serrated blade, apparently I'm the guy that you've got to talk to about it. Glad to know we've got your support. Or actually, if you prefer, you can speak directly to your line manager. Now, Jack, um, oh my God, for now, your line manager is actually Don. Oh, squeaky bum time for some. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry about that, but look, anything at all, Jack, you can come straight to me. Anything he says or does or implies. In fact, even if he doesn't imply it, you are okay to come straight to me. All right. Cool. And Don, just a quick word. Don't think you won't be under my BDI just because you're working from home. You know, I will be watching. 
when you're when you're typing away your little jokes and your thoughts those little three dots bubbling away uh, i'll be watching i'll be watching when you're sleeping i'll be hovering over your shoulder like the angel of death um two small black eyes like oil drops just peering at you at all times um like the infinite vastness of the universe i'll be there counting your breaths so that's the good news sorted that's the good news yeah now on to the redundancies wait sorry redundancies i thought that we were supposed to be uh... you, you thought what we'd be key workers <laughs> no i'm afraid not what it is is um with a heavy heart uh weed is going to have to let go of one person from each team so i've got to decide which one of you three it is um i need to speak to a few people have a few convos throughout the day and then we'll do another call at the end of the day with the verdict all righty oh actually lads in the meantime if any of you bright sparks have any clue how we might be able to make this literally groundbreaking app viable for the next few months of hysteria then we'll be all ears pop that in an email up to big brass okay well i've got to go now but bye bye you okay dom yeah fine i'm fine <laughs> why wouldn't i be i mean no you know if somebody's got to be worried here i think we all know who that should be don't we Dom, none of us can see who you're looking at. Oh, Jack. I, I was looking at Jack. Yeah, you. All the way down from Manchester, settled in London, and laid off on his first day. Well, you don't know that. You know what they say, John. Last one in, first one out. Who says that? They used to say it at Mammy's, that's for sure. Uh, hello, it's your head gardener, Kelly. Over. Uh, hi, Kelly. Yeah, yeah, your name came up when you rang me. I know who you are. So what am I supposed to do now that I can't do my jobs anymore? Uh, is... These blinking idiot min minelials don't know their asses from their hose pipes, OK? They, they can't be trusted with their, with their own gardens. Anyway, I, I think this uh, COVID virus might be contagious. Over. Well, yes, it is contagious. Have you got coronavirus? Oh, reckon so. Aye. You? No. Oh. Listen, Kelly, are you at home? You need to be self-isolating, mate. Wherever there's nature, that's my home. No, no, Kelly, I'm talking about where you get your letters sent to. Oh, you mean the barge? Ah, oh, listen, forget it. Um, look, can you not maybe ask the other gardeners to just leave their tools at people's front doors? Uh, no, no, the, the tools need to be returned to me at night where I sleep with them and watch them. Over. Right. Listen, uh, unless you can do something to help me, I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'll have to start working for somebody else or something. Uh, over. Don't go to anyone's homes, Kelly, please. We will find something for you. And listen, mate, they're going to be making redundancies. We've got to figure out a way of making this work. I hope so. Bye. Next, you're going to want to add the sweet, OK? And after you've finished with that, a little bit of crushed ice, all right? And let me just say, it needs to be crushed. Understand? That is crucial, OK? Crushed. So if it, you get a big bag, you bring it home from the supermarket, you whack it on a few lampposts. You smack it on a few bus stops. Now, do I have a lamppost at my house? No. Do I have a bus stop at my house? Also, no. But what I do have is an alleyway full of broken glass. And that's been really useful for me. So get creative, get imaginative. Just make sure you crush this ice. Capiche? All right, so do you have some ice on you? No. <laughs> oh, I saw it. Well, don't worry about it because actually, this one I made earlier, <laughs> in the words of Neil Buchanan. Oh, I'll don't say Sorry. it really makes a difference. Sorry, man. The old should, we, should we probably not just get started? Started? Buddy, yeah. the Don Mojito is almost done. And let me tell you, it's not the first I've got down me today, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, aren't we supposed to be going through processes? I think that's what it says in the calendar. 
Yeah. Process, process. Come on, man. What process does a young guy like you need? More than an ice cold mojito, okay? What do you mean? <sighs> Look, Jock. It's Jack. Semantics, buddy. Semantics. Listen, mate. You've only just got to London, haven't you? About, what, a, a month ago? Two days ago. Two days ago. And, and, and you come down from your little village in, in Hull. Chester. In, in Chester, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, let's be honest, it's not going to be too much of a faff for them to twiddle you around in your little ballet shoe and send you right back up north. Is it? No. Jack. Pal. What I'm trying to say is that you, you've, you've not felt it out. You've not lived in weed. You've not pushed to the corners and found your own smell. I can do that. I smell. Look, I know that I'm new and obviously somebody's going later on, but until then, I just think, sh should we just get on with it? <laughs> get on with it? <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Brown knows. Uh, uh, slap on the wrist for me. <laughs> get on. All right, cool. So is there anything I can do for you? Um, you know these video diaries that everyone's banging on about? Um, I don't really want to do mine. It's not really my vibe. And I'm super busy. Um, so I was actually kind of wondering, you know, Bright Spark, if, if you wouldn't mind doing mine for me, maybe. You want me to have your face and use your voice in a video? Could you? I'll see what I can do. Jake, big Jake, big old Jake with the peg and the big old leg. <laughs> That's a good. You right, Dom? Yeah, good man, good man, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Um, uh, well, hey, what, what do you think of the of the new guy? He's a bit of a prick, isn't he? Uh, I think he seems okay. Why? Yeah, man. Yeah, no, he's he's lovely. Yeah. Um, the only thing is that, like, I was just chatting to him a minute ago. He just keeps banging on about how much he wants to see the back of you. And Did he? Yeah, yeah. He just kept saying that, like, when it comes to redundancies, you would be front and centre of his mind for the first person to go. And I was like, what, Jake? No. Okay. Really seemed like something he'd say. Yeah, it is though. It is something he said. So there's that. You know, God, I wish. I wish I'd recorded it, Jake. You know, I usually do. God knows I usually do. Yeah, okay, man. Well, uh, I'm supposed to be cleaning up the kitchen uh, for Emma's mum, so... Oh, yeah, totally, man. I forgot you'd, uh, you'd escaped a big, big windy apple. <laughs> How was it out there? Uh, well, obviously, I'm not away from London permanently. It's just, you know, they've got a nice house in the countryside and a uh, garden, so... Oh, ow! Oh, a garden. Give me a garden any day of the week, you know, over a over a a, a twenty four hour gym with private residence access, <laughs> like I've got here, Muggins. <laughs> the only thing is, that I'd I'd probably, you know, knowing me, I'd turn the garden into a gym. Big, big heavy tree trunks and big weights and small rocks from a Japanese garden for for little dumbbells. The only thing is, no no mirrors would be an issue, you know. Don't know how I'd watch my form. Maybe with my shadow. Maybe I could use my shadow. Jake, can I come and take a look at this? Yeah, man. Well, I've got a lot of work to get on with, so um, can see. Yeah, it. yeah, of course. No, yeah. Sorry, man. Um, maybe we could just chat soon or like hang out. Or... See you, buddy. Bye. Yep. Hello. Who's that? Uh, Kelly. It's Jake. Blake. Jake from Weed. Yeah. Yeah, um, I uh, just wanted to check in to see how you're feeling. Ah! Oh. How, how are you feeling, Kelly? Oh, uh, listen, let me put it this way. In my youth, we used to go into Roncorn Town Centre every night. You to a little pub. It's probably not there anymore. We call the Black Dash Hunt. But we used to call it the Black Dog. You want to know why we call it that? Uh, because it made you feel depressed every time you went in? Uh, no, it's got all the dogging that went on in the car park. Okay, good. We used to sit back with eight, sometimes nine pints. I mean, it was good stuff though. None of this, this modern crafted lager you Minellials drink. You know, 20 pound for half a pint down in London. No, no, it was proper stuff. 
Bull's bollocks. Um, Kelly, I don't really understand what any of this is. One night, got into a little fight. A bloke were waiting for me out back with a cricket bat. Smacked me right in the chops, he did. Right. Next morning, woke up, went to school, absolutely fine. OK. Made of stern stuff, I am. It would take more than the Karimba virus to finish me up. OK, well, be that as it may, Kelly, it's the people you might be infectious to that I'm worried about, so we can't have you visiting people's houses, I'm afraid. <laughs> in fact, where are you right now? Oh, I just... Walking around in my back garden, aren't I? Got to keep fit, ain't you? Uh, of course, yeah. Oh, reckon I've done about half a marathon by my mass, just round and round. But that would be... Yeah, about six miles, 3,500 circuits. And counting, boy -o. OK, well, I, I, look, I'm glad you're getting outdoors, Kelly. In fact, you know, listen, look, it's good you've got a garden, so actually, what because... Are we going to do about money? I'm not making any money. I mean, it might be all right for your manelials, you know, you're plum and cosy with your scotch eggs and, and your tiny hats. But what about me? You know, I've got to get my hands dirty. got to get my mouth full of shit. What are you going to do about me? Well, this is what I'm coming to, Kelly. I've been thinking about how to put your... Uh, skills to uh, best use and I thought what about putting out some online content <laughs> put up a tent yeah that's not a bad shout that no uh, online con sorry Kelly can you stop striding around in the garden you're making me incredibly dizzy mate no can do once I've got my momentum going it would take me well it'd take about five or six stout men to stop me <laughs> trust me I've tried okay all right fine um listen okay I've been thinking, if I send you some ideas, maybe you could come up with some pointers <laughs> on DIY gardening tips, yeah? Uh, uh, things we could get an actor to record and then we'll send it out. <laughs> DIY garden tips. Well, listen, you, you, you said it yourself. Most of these people don't know their um, arse from their hosepipe. So you just get some manelial to... Film it and, and make it and, and, and put it out there or something. Uh, yeah, that's the idea. What about me? I'll do it. Uh, it's not... I mean, it's, listen, it's a big ask, Kelly. I, I wouldn't want you to put yourself through that. Plus, you haven't really got the right equipment. Equipment? I've got everything I need right here. Spades, forks, knives, holes. Uh, I, I meant to film it. Oh, what are we doing right now, pea brain? This is a film, isn't it? No, it's... I, I meant... Leave it with me. I'll be 45 English minutes. Hi, this is Don speaking, making video diary number one for weed, because my assistant is apparently too... Busy making Cornish pasties, drinking strong tea, or whatever it is they do up north to print off a mask of my face, wear it on his own, and record a video diary for me, like I told him to. Apparently nobody would believe it was me. It would be unbelievable. Well, you know what I find unbelievable? The unprofessionalism of him and all of his little mates from up north, him and his little wheelbarrow merchant buddies, would rather be sucking each other off with Corian in the background than doing what their bosses tell them to. He's betrayed me. He's thrown me under the bus and he's turning all the rest of them against me too. Well, jock, I... Oh, it says here his name is... is Jack. Well, Jack, there's a storm coming for you. A storm in one of the teacups that you and your little northern wheelbarrow merchant buddies love so very, very much. Making your strong tea, skimping on milk, producing Britpop music in your spacious houses with your affordable rents and frowning down on the rest of us who try and produce any and tell you it's all we've ever wanted to do with our lives and send you our mixtapes and ask for a bit of honest criticism and tell us that we could never write a simple melody if we tried. I hope you like emails, Jack. Because there's one coming for you. Hot off the press. Fresh from Grandma's apron. Warmed right through. Like only she knows how. Piping up. So get ready for that. And then we'll see who never has a future in Britpop. Won't we?
Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, even if they did choose me for the uh, big chopper, I'd, I'd understand, you know, it's fine because I'm on my highest salary and- <laughs> Sorry, you're what? I'm, I'm on my highest salary and the king needs to go down with his castle if it comes to that, okay? It's fine. It's fine, okay, Jack? I didn't say anything. It's water off a Don's back. I'll bounce back. It's water off a big bouncy back. Ah! Ah. I can I just remind you, just before you announce who's off, uh, the old expression that you may be familiar with, he who laughs last, laughs longest. <laughs> right, and, and what's that got to do with anything? Well, I'm the biggest laugh, right? So I should be here the longest. <laughs> well, Don, I've actually, um, I've just got your email here, it just came through. My email? Yeah, yeah, um, I've got it here in front of me. So, uh, let me just, where was it? Um, just have a little read of this. You know, it was, oh, here it is. What? It is amongst Jack's myriad faults that he is also, quite frankly, a bigot. Yeah, okay, well, I, d I don't mean you need to read the whole Let me finish, let me finish, because it's, it's riveting stuff. Um, he repeatedly murmurs unintelligible expressions under his breath every time I'm speaking, chuckles every time I pause or stumble over my words. He has never gone for a pint with me. So far! So far! I thought that was implied. He has wide eyes. Oh, come on! The man's got the eyes of a crab. All right, we're all thinking it, weren't we? Furthermore, the guy reeks. Now, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I've got to say this out loud, but this is what the email says. The guy reeks of shit. Dark, rancid, human shit. He reeks of the stuff. And, and Don has actually underlined and somehow circled the word shit. He goes on to say, definitively, that it should be Jack who gets made redundant. <laughs> So, Don, I'd, I'd just like to point out that that was a prank. <laughs> that was a goof. <laughs> and a good one. And, and you're just not getting it. That's, that's, but it was a goof. <laughs> Please. Well, I'm sorry I don't get it. <laughs> Don, it is with great pleasure that I get to be the one to tell you that you are, in fact, fired. Fired? What? No! Oh, God. Oh, this is what have happened to being the last lap? Listen, mate, that's not what that means. Oh, fine! Of course, that's not what it means to you, Jake! You would say that, wouldn't you? You're never, never a number joke, are you, Jake? Always by the book. That's why Ray loves you so very dearly. It's always the maverick that has to go down with the... with the goose, isn't it, Jake? Never people like you. There's also some bad news. Bad news? I've lost everything. Yeah, well, this afternoon the government decided that they were going to step in to make sure that by and large people's jobs were protected. So that means that we're actually going to have to furlough you rather than dismiss you. Furlough? Basically it means we have to keep Don on for 80% of his salary but he's not actually allowed to do any work for us so you know he's still required on these video calls, he's still required to send me his daily webcam video diaries but essentially during the day he's a free agent he can do what he likes as long as he remains safe and indoors throughout okay so let me let me just get this straight i'm not allowed to do any work that's, that's fine now. right but i'm still on 80 percent of my salary mm-hmm uh Don, I think your video's frozen. I accept. I accept. <laughs> what a shame. You won't regret this. Okay, yes, you won't. There is literally nothing to regret. The government is paying me not to send you home. Yeah. You won't regret this. Okay, all right. Well, if, if that's everything, uh, unless anyone's got anything oh, else. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing, sorry. Um, just very quickly, Kelly. Uh, our head gardener, he's based out of London. Oh, Smelly Kelly. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, well, he needed work and he needed money. So I, um, <laughs> basically, I got him to make some DIY gardening videos. Yeah, I, I thought we could record them with professional actors and then put them out as part of our subscription service, you know, so people stay with us and we're still viable. So? 
well, so Kelly said that unless he makes the videos himself, he's going to leave us. And unfortunately, he's really good and we can't take the hit. Well, you know, what are the videos like? Can we use them? Uh, he's already put it out. I'll send you guys the link. You beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Hello. I didn't see you there. I can see you. Shut up, Kelly. Welcome to DIY gardening tips with, with me Kelly it's all right yeah I'm there on an angel I'm sure that you'd agree, you'd agree that on a hot summer's, summer's day, day there's nothing better than having a nice cold swim why would you deny our leafy friends that same moment moment of bliss Overwatered this one quite a lot. Just dead leaves, won't do you any harm. A simple wooden gate. What may be complicated for some, only took me a mere decade to complete. You are my son, you're my son. Bastard. Hey, come on. Work with me, baby, come on. As easy as that. Work with me, baby. Wheelbarrows are a proper worksman's tool, but they can also be great fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Disgusted. The humble gardener's spade. My, My rusty old rusty bastard old has bastard seen quite a few good years of service. Some better than others. Let's put this one through its paces, shall we? Oh, I've hit something. He's alive! He's alive! Uh, the doctors say no more caffeine since, since the incident, so peppermint tea is how I choose to unwind. Glug, glug, glug goes the water. Wait until it's totally tepid and then drink. With pleasure. Don't look at me like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, you...